Ellen's favorite thing at Fannies of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week we are taking a look at this 1980s Showbud frying pan reissue. My first complaint is that it is made out of metal, so it's heavy and cold. This tuning is very strange, but I think we're just gonna roll with it. Clearly there used to be a knob or a jack here and it's been moved over here. I guess you can do that when you're, whoa. I guess you can do that when your guitar is basically like a, you know, like a junction box. Well, I gotta say, I do love how low this string is. That's fun. Very cool. I like it. I have no idea. What, does this string not have? It's got C6 in there somewhere. Ah, it's just got. It's got too many strings, they're all so close together. What would be a better tuning for this thing? This pickup kicks butt. Very interesting, this tuning is really screwing with my brain because it's got C6 and then an extra note and there's just a random F chord on the bottom, which that's not where a B flat should be, but it's where it is on this instrument. I have a big confuse. Also, why is this the tone knob? I want this to be the tone knob, but thankfully, like I said, when your guitar is a junction box, it's just as easy as popping this sucker off and then just switching the knobs. Also, that says 900 strings. I mean, it's got 10 strings. Feels like 900. Can I have this pickup? It just really sounds nice. Where do you get a pickup like this? What is this pickup? The nice thing about a six tuning is that it makes you sound like you always know what you're doing. knob is a lot of fun. This instrument has good bones, but here's how I would improve it. I would flip these two around. I would get rid of two strings entirely. Maybe if you get rid of some of the strings, you can um, space them out a little more. Look, but that's just me. I got a pro like, but you would think with a show bud, usually show bud string spacing is a little bigger. But anyway, I just, there's not enough room in here for my, my sausage fingers, but it's a lot of fun to play and it really sounds good. I give it four out of five melons. Alan, 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 Alan. Here at Fanny's House of Music, we also have vintage clothing. This is a Diane Freeze color stripe blue dress. Oh, it's a little more sheer than I thought. Oh, I don't know if I can get into this. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Never mind. I got in it just fine. You know, you really got to decide where this waist lives because you got to, you know, it's all about defining your shape, you know, and I don't, there's just no boobs up here, but if there was, you could sit it up a little higher. I guess it depends on how much boobs you have. Now that I got this up here, I, you know, that's maybe too high. Maybe this is where your waist should be. Yeah, and then you then you fill this with boobs and it's just kind of a more, you know, of an hourglass shape. But if you're me, man, it's making my shirt right up. You're probably not supposed to wear it with a t-shirt. I feel I look like someone, but I can't quite put my finger on it. A clown. Thank you for watching Ellen's favorite thing at Fannies of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing.